Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I am bringing you a school supply haul for the start of our new school year. Being a homeschooling family doesn't mean that we don't need school supplies. However, it does mean that I only need to buy things that we actually need for the upcoming school year. I feel like this year might be a little on the lighter side. We didn't need a ton of stuff. A few of my kids needed some certain specific things and so I figured I would sit down and share with you guys a little back to school haul. I do wanna thank Hi Sierra for sponsoring today's video and today's back to school haul because one of my kids was in desperate need of a new backpack and Hi Sierra has the best backpacks that I'm going to show you guys if you're looking for a new backpack for back to school. In our homeschool, I definitely try to take our homeschool out of our house about once a month. We might go to a coffee shop, we might go to um, you know the library, or sometimes I just have places I need to go and I need my kids to be able to bring their stuff with them. So my oldest daughter really needed a new backpack and so this is the one that she chose out. This is the, um, from Hi Sierra and it is this really cute black and white print. Um, not only do the backpacks come in handy for back to school, however, we travel a ton as you guys know and so my kids always bring a backpack for our travel. And what makes Hi Sierra's backpacks awesome is not only the durability and the quality, however, the compartments are huge and you can fit so much in it. There's even a laptop um, or tablet, you know, whatever your kids use, um, pocket in the back, which is not in the main compartment of the backpack. So here's like the main one. The laptop or tablet one is on the back. And that is so convenient for traveling because I cannot tell you guys how often we go through security. And in the past, my kids had put their devices down at the bottom of the bag and they literally have to empty out the complete contents to make it through TSA. So th this backpack, having that laptop or tablet, um, you know, kit pocket on the back is so so nice you can fit a ton in these there's the pocket up front there's this one here it has these comfort straps and it is just all around an awesome backpack perfect for back to school um so if you guys want to check out a high sierra backpack just click the link that is down below i have it linked there for you guys i know you will love it the water bottle compartments on the side it's just the perfect backpack for homeschool back to school travel just if your kids are in need of a new one so we love our High Sierra backpack. That was a part of our back to school haul. The next thing that I have to show you guys is this microscope here. Um, <laughs> this was a pretty penny and I ordered it from Home Science Tools. Um, my daughter is getting ready to take a biology course for 10th grade and she needed a really good quality microscope. So I went ahead and purchased like a middle of the road one. There were some that were ranging like up to a thousand dollars and I just could not do that but I also didn't go with the cheapest one around you know like 60 or 70. I picked a middle of the road one. Um, she hasn't used it yet obviously but I think it's going to work really well. It did come with um, an instruction booklet here and then a microscope starter kit um, and like the cleaning procedures and all that good stuff. So that is a piece in my homeschool that you know, I only will need to buy this one year. That's what I was talking about. As a homeschooler, you don't always have to buy everything every year, which is so nice, one of the biggest perks. Um, but this will be something that my subsequent kids use. So I love that. Uh, the next thing I have to show you guys, I already took out of the package. I will link these on my Amazon page. If your kids do any kind of online classes for homeschool, these comfort headphones on Amazon are really great. They fit my, my, you know, teenagers, they fit me. I edit in these, um, actually. They're really great, um, they're, and they're very affordable. So all of my kids were kind of due for a new pair. I opened them up a little bit ago, so I just brought over one to show you guys. They had a variety of colors so that nobody gets confused on whose are whose, um, but we needed new headphones and I love those. 
Um, the next little bit of stuff I have to show you guys is from Hobby Lobby. You all know that I we love Arteza art products in our homeschool, but Hobby Lobby was 50% off when I went and I am trying to save money where I can um, because that's just the story of back to school season. All the kids needed new shoes and you know, I don't feel like as a homeschooler I have to do everything like with the you know, back to school. I buy them clothes kind of on an as needed basis, but sometimes there are really good sales. And so in a family of four, buy one, get one half off on shoes really saves a lot of money. So I went ahead and got shoes, needed the microscope. So like I was trying to kind of save money here on the art supplies, which is why I took advantage of Hobby Lobby's 50% um, off sale. So the art supplies are kind of community art supplies in our homeschool. All of my kids have some art component with their language arts programs. So not only that, but they just love doing art. So uh, we go through and use up art supplies pretty quickly. Uh, so I got first some paper. So I got a big package of watercolor paper. I also find that watercolor paper works really well for pastels. If any of your kids are in the younger years um, with the good and the beautiful, the pastels work really great on the watercolor. Um, I got some tracing paper because there's a lot of tracing in their language arts and I got a different size watercolor paper there. We needed some new um, palettes, so this one was a 10 pack and it was $3.50 on sale, like some really good prices there. Uh, they really didn't have a ton of watercolors to choose from. They were kind of picked over, probably because they were on sale, um, but these were the two that my artist children recommended. So um, this one is the 36 color. Um, pan and my daughter liked the color range on that and then this one is 48 and it had a really good color range too so um, they're definitely beyond like the Crayola primary color <laughs> um, watercolor sets. I got a bunch of different watercolor uh, paint or acrylics you could use these too um, but a variety of different paint brushes I got a, um, four of them because Again, they all will be doing some form of art. Uh, we got some artist sketching pencils here, so a little package of those. And then we got some um, brush pens for, you know, lettering and outlining. So I got two packages of those. So that was kind of like our little art supply haul from Hobby Lobby. Uh, the next things that I have to show you guys is kind of a random collection of stuff. Some of it, so I went to Ikea a few months ago and I saw these and I just thought that they were fun and cute and they were a really good price. They're the Mala um, 24 pack and so I picked those up. And then the other things in here are from Target. So we go through composition notebooks really, really quickly in our homeschool. Um, so I just buy a bunch of these, a bunch. I have some from the dollar store. Like I just always keep a good stock of these. Uh, so I got a bunch of those notebooks. Um, my oldest daughter chose out this five star notebook because she happened to be with me when I was buying those things. Um, then we also got these. These were really cool. Um, they're erasable highlighters in pastel colors, and I thought those were really fun um, for highlighting, for Bible, just anything in general. So I grabbed two of them, and I'll probably steal a few of those for me. Um, and then I also went ahead and got a bunch of different um, pens and pencils. So my kids love these erasable friction pens. They're my favorite too. Um, that or the Paper Mate Flare are like my pen of choice. If you're into stationery, those are the two that I like. Um, these are expensive. So I will give my kids like three each and then when they run out, they're out. So I don't buy those all year long. That's kind of like a back to school exciting supply. Um, got some black Sharpie markers and then everybody got a package of mechanical pencils like this, the paper mate ones. These ones are break resistant because the other ones, they just break so easily. So 
got four of those. Um, and then, you know, we have like the um, Tigarong, whatever, the pencil, the good quality pencil. I have so many of those still. So that's why I didn't need those. Um, we have another pre-algebra student beginning this year and all of my kids use a calculator for math, well, except my youngest. So um, in the past they were like trading and it was just creating an issue. So. Anyway, problem solved, got a new calculator. This is the Texas Instruments TI-34. This works really well so far um, up to Algebra 2. So got that. Um, and then the last little thing that I have to show you guys is um, from Erin Condren. So you know that I order my planners from Erin Condren, but they also have notebooks um, that you can customize with your kids' names. They are uh, hard, like plastic covered, so these do not fall apart. Now, these notebooks are pricey. I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that, but what I wanna tell you guys is, is they last. So if you have issues with your kids, like their covers falling off, papers falling out, um, that will not happen with these. So I like to get one or two of these type of notebooks from Erin Condren for my kids for the whole school year. My oldest kids use them for their math notes because those are very important and we don't want a bunch of loose papers, don't want them falling out. So this is my daughter's um, choice here. They are personalized with their names on the front. Uh, then my my son, I got uh, this this cover for. I thought he would like that one. Same thing, it's the hard plastic one. Uh, the inside of the paper is lined, so you can choose what kind of paper you want to. It can be completely blank, it can be graph paper, it can be, um, uh, you know, large, like if they're practicing handwriting. So then I got this one for my younger son with all the droids on there. And then my youngest daughter um, has Princess Leia outline on the front of hers. So I think they're going to really, really like those notebooks. They haven't seen them because I'm, I needed to film this video and then I'm going to pass them out so that they're all set for their new school year. So that's the supplies that I got this year. The only other thing that I am going to be purchasing and it's going to be expensive is another laptop computer in our homeschool. Um, we we have we have two so we have a MacBook Pro and then we have a desktop however and we have an iPad so the iPad was my youngest son's last year for what he needed for like video component this year the iPad's going to move to my youngest daughter and I am going to invest in a second laptop for our homeschool. Um, I have purchased my previous MacBook Pro from Costco and I will be probably buying it there again um, because you know, Costco, you can, they usually have a really good prices and also like you can bring it back and um, without issues. So if there's any hiccups, but I've never had any problems with any of my Apple computers. So that is the only other thing that I am going to be buying that is not here. And that's because I haven't purchased it yet because I'm waiting. It's, it's expensive. So We'll add that in. Um, so that is what I got my kids as far as school supplies go. That is the beauty of homeschooling. You don't have to buy things if you don't need them. I don't need 29 boxes of Kleenex and I don't need 35 Clorox wipes containers. So this is just actually what my kids needed to begin a school year. Plus it's fun. They enjoy getting new pencils and notebooks and it's just an easy way to like re-energize them and get them excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing our little back to school haul. Make sure you check out the links to Hi Sierra down below if you or your children are in need of a new backpack for this back to school season. Give me a thumbs up before you go. It's a free way to support my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys again really soon. Bye friends.